Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be speaking about a very sad story. It's this is a really sad story. It touched me. It really touched me when I went on TVJ's website and I'm hearing this story. It's really, really sad, guys. So a 29-year-old teacher of St. Clave's Primary School has gone missing since last Monday. Now it's more than a week that she has been gone missing. Today's Wednesday. So it's a week and three days. I think so it's it's a while her dad has been explaining to TVJ news what happened on Monday he would normally take her to school in the morning but but on that day she got up late for work he does not know who took her to work there was a voice note going around in which her brother was making an appeal to anyone who might have taken his sister to please um to send her home safely he was also explaining that he also has a brother and that brother is in prison, right? The, the, the brother is in prison and it is alleged that the brother is mixed up in a lot of wrongdoing, right? Some, some are suspecting that it might be retaliation having to do with the brother that is currently in prison. So... His brother was making an appeal because his brother was say, uh, his brother was practically admitting that um the other brother was got got himself mixed up and got into pr um, problems and he's now in jail and if he should get out of prison he know it's not gonna be a good look so people everyone is just worried worried where she where she is who might have taken her what might have happened to her okay so maybe what they will have to do they'll have to try and reach in touch with the brother in prison to see him if he might have any information as to who he might think may be involved in the missing teacher which is his sister as well guys this is jamaica when people go missing for that long especially a professional person who is doing their job and have a day-to-day -day job a regular life going to and fro those kind of people guys those kind of people don't just get up and disappear and especially for over a week she seemed to have a good relationship with her parents as far as we are seeing as far as what is being reported on the news she lives with them and they just moved to to the house that they are living now so it's not like she had a bad relationship with her parents and she would like to take herself away no according to her mom and her dad she was even preparing for teacher's day she bought stuff that she was maybe going to be used to decorate her classroom or to do whatever it was for teacher's day so if someone was planning to go away or to run away why would they be making future preparations so this is uh, it is just sad and it, it, it doesn't look good it don't look good no it doesn't look good for a promising young lady doing her job who seems to be such a lovely young lady and she has been gone missing. Huh? Well, I tell you, this thing in Jamaica where you have your can catch quack or you catch him shut, that thing has got to stop because a lot of innocent family members are getting caught up in this disturbing thing that is going on. You have an issue with someone, you can't catch that person, so you decide to take this thing out on the family member that's not nice that's not nice the country is going in such a bad direction where crime is concerned and it is like it needs a total revamp the whole society need, the whole thinking of the society need to change and the i think these things have to be implemented from the basic school these the, the government need to go hard on these things to 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 make a total 360 so that the country can become better they need to implement these things from the kids are in basic school they need to have more um parenting classes for the parent which is which should be compulsory they need to put in more stringent things so that people can follow so over a period of 10 years the mindset can 
um, gradually change it because it's not going to happen overnight. But guys, um, I don't know. This, this is just, this is just, um, heartbreaking, right? This is just, uh, this is just so heartbreaking. I'll be inserting clips from her parents, her mom and her dad, where they are appealing for the safe return of their 29-year-old daughter, Danielle Anglin. Guys, this is such a sad situation. This is such a sad and it would be good if she is returned to her family safely. So guys, remember to like, share and subscribe to this video. Give the video a thumbs up. For all the returning viewers, thanks for coming back. Thanks for liking the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next. If, I don't know if... Um, what transport she she had, um, she she took. I don't know which transport she took, you know. But when I came here, nobody was here. Have also been searching for the missing teacher. Her parents describe her as being reserved, adding that she rarely stays out. She's not a party party person. She's more more a church person, you know. We attend we attend church every. Uh, She's going to buy more things on Monday. Monday evening she left school, she's going back up town to buy me a dress and to buy a watch for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you hope you want to, she must come, she need to come home now? Yes, she need to come home now. But she need to come home. Can't live without her. Calls to her cell phone still goes unanswered. They want persons with information as to Daniel's whereabouts to call the police at 119 or the nearest police station.